What's up, heroes? Mike here, and I want to give my first impressions on the Final Fantasy VII Remake demo and just how the game seems to be turned out uh, as it releases April 10th. Now, but before I do that, I always want to ask you guys, you know, to come check me out on Twitch, support me there if you want to check out some of my videos where I record while I'm live streaming, it's like that, and just have a fun, good time. The link is in the description below, twitch.tv slash Mike underscore hero, as well as my other social links if you want to, you know, message me on twitter network stuff like that you know all that good stuff down below in the description all right but let's start off here with kind of just talking about man we have been waiting for this for so long as fans and it's finally coming yeah i got delayed by a month it should have been out by now already technically but i think the wait is worth it because who wants a rush game that's messed up you know i don't i'd rather them take their time get it right all the good stuff and based on this demo it seems like the devs got it right a lot of love and effort is put into this and you can tell from playing this and so i want to start off by talking about just kind of how it opens up you know and try to talk about every moment going forward you know every step of the way as you play the demo basically you know it starts off pretty much how well, we've seen before in past trailers gameplay trailers stuff like that and tidbits we've seen where it's the opening cinematic and then from cinematic goes right into gameplay once cloud gets off the train and then you basically are fighting these shinra soldiers and you're just kind of going through you know going through that bomb run mission basically the first one here um visually this game is just freaking immaculate i played this on the ps4 pro and on my 4k tv and oh my god just a t attention to detail uh with you know the environments the characters, the voice acting is just on par. Um, I feel like they went a different route though in terms of voice actors. It seems like there's nobody really I can really recognize. You know, there's no like Nolan Norris or Troy Baker types, stuff like that in here. It's actually a different type of voice actors, a cast for this, I believe, as far as English goes. And that's good. That's actually really good. Um, you know, Cloud feels like Cloud, Barrett feels like Barrett. You know, everybody's got their kind of moments to shine here, and I like that. And the attention to detail on the characters designs and looks whatnot um is definitely very impressive you know these characters feel more alive and that's what i was hoping for with what they would do uh they got more personality i feel like a little bit more attitude it's like that a freaking cloud man he is a dick as always <laughs> in the beginning of this game barrett is self-righteous as always you know caring about the planet this and that he's all about the planet and like that he might as well be captain planet in this game or something <laughs> but uh Seriously though, yeah, from a presentation visual standpoint, oh man, this game is amazing in terms of that, and you will not be disappointed. Uh, let's get into gameplay as far as combat goes. The combat, you know, actually playing it versus seeing it in past trailers when not is so totally something different, you know. On my first playthrough, which is on the channel, you can check that out. Uh, right now, my first full playthrough, going through it. Um, I had to get used to it, you know. It has a little tutorial hints when I, you know, walks you through and talks you through and stuff like that. Uh, the combat, though, was really fluid and fun. More uh, strategic and fun than I expected. Uh, of course, when I first played through, I did try out the, you know, kind of normal slow-mo uh, type method as far as, you can, you know, just kind of pause the battle real quick to do whatever action you want to do as far as either heal, using a spell, using the item, or using the ability once your ATB gauge is, you know, built up uh, i do believe they're going to uh, allow you to get more atp gauge as you progress through the game level ups like that you know they take this from from fantasy 13 series i believe and it's a nice touch it's it's actually a really nice touch um basic attacks you know they do less damage than your like abilities and spells like that but they're not too too bad they actually do a decent amount in terms of building up your atp gauge so you can do those you know ability attacks or even use your spells as frequently as you want to pretty much like and that's kind of the key thing you got to mix up you know your combat abilities to do damage you got to use your basic attacks to kind of you know stagger build up stagger meter but also you can use your abilities to build up that stagger meter and just get them staggered so you can do more even more damage and doing combos with other characters obviously in the demo the only one you can really do combos with is barrett uh, those combos don't feel really good you know when you know how to utilize them well enough and switch between characters at the right time and just do awesome damage 
awesome uh it definitely helps keep the you know enemies from being so spongy even though i know probably some people might think these enemies might be a little spongy at first but really once you get used to the combat gameplay mechanics and once you actually get used to using a shortcut over the uh, slow time uh so much better so much better you end up basically taking them out uh so much quicker with these enemies you know slice them up like butter or something basically so loving the combat loving the short you know menu option whatnot although although i know i get i get they only can map four kind of actions to it i wish you can map a little bit more like maybe up to six um during combat whatnot like i wish you can do maybe like l1 plus r2 or l1 plus r1 instead of just l1 plus the face buttons uh so not i'm not trying to gripe about it. i'm not trying to complain about that it just you know this feels there's more a little more options there that's all but it still runs great um based on this demo you know everything flowed good i love how they kind of took sort of a nod from god of war i feel like or certain other games in terms of like how there's no loading times there's no loading screens based on what this demo is showing us there's none and i love that and it's just like you know you get in a cutscene or cinematic and it goes right back to gameplay or from gameplay to cinematic fluidly smooth and this is what i want more game devs to do in terms of these like major AAA games that are like a ma major mainly a single player experience basically or at least have a solid single player uh, campaign or whatnot to it or experience to it you know because loading times suck <laughs> in this game oh, i love square enix devs for us just not having loading times be a thing in here at least or at least hiding it behind either you know the gameplay or cutscenes whatnot in some manner or form so that's fantastic uh fortunately no summons in this demo though uh just basically got to play as cloud got to play as barrett you know basically got up to the point where you got to the scorpion boss fight the boss fights in this game so first actually before we get to the scorpion one there is a sweep uh the sweeper kind of sub boss whatnot and it kind of walks through you know how to tackle that uh once again just gotta you know utilize everything that you have at your disposal you know from your basic attacks to your spells your abilities even your um special moves your different mo mo fight moves with cloud it's the punisher mode and then with barrett it's the overcharge so you want to utilize those to build that stagger meter and just mix it up dodge we can block in this game too which is freaking fantastic although blocking only reduces the damage you take it doesn't you know block all damage which is fine uh another cool thing about the gameplay too i forgot to mention a little bit ago is i noticed when do, trying to do certain actions if enemy hits you for example while you're trying to either use an item or an ability it interrupts you uh kind of similar to like a fighting game and that's actually kind of cool that makes it a little bit more challenging makes it you know things be a little more strategic where you got to think on your feet more uh i love it you know i love it and i think this is the right way to go i hope that they incorporate this you know gameplay style into the multiple parts as well but also just expand upon and make it better um uh, based on what we've seen here story-wise from what the demo showed you know this is pretty much a reimagining of the bombing run um add some things whatnot there is a little bit of a puzzle part too almost forgot to mention where it's like these lasers and it's pretty you know easy to do um i think jesse kind of explains a little bit to kind of get hint at what you gotta do for it but relatively easy uh i would imagine there's probably gonna be more puzzles similar to this in the game as you progress maybe harder ones too or hopefully harder ones just have some more fun challenge with that with the pu with this laser puzzle type thing or laser trap or whatever you want to call it you know it just got to a point where you, the first three were easy and then well, all, it's all easy really but uh it's a matter of just counting you know how many times they want to kind of show up and then you'll know when to dash through or run through it basically it's not hard at all if you do accidentally run into it thinking oh it's done it doesn't take much damage from you either it's like maybe 10 points of health or whatever each time you get hit so it's not that bad or it's not that annoying uh so I, and i did try to sound like the normal difficulty and then i eventually tried out on the classic which is supposed to be the same as easy mode but classic is supposed to be more of like you're just focused on you know giving your characters commands and just kind of enjoying the stories like that so classic was definitely really just easy really just mellow just kind of like laid back okay i can just kind of chill not stress about you know difficult fights or not so i mean that's cool as if you're new to this and you don't want to you know 
stress yourself out if the combat's not your thing or you're just really too no one will be too too, yeah, too strategic i should say or worry too much about fighting and all that other stuff and but at the same time i feel like the normal mode is how it's supposed to be played you know have that fun challenge um also notice you know you got some the character attributes as far as like their stats it's like that and what they're resistant to is very well done and the menu you can check i checked clouds and it was pretty cool uh definitely gives you a good idea as far as how what kind of build you want to go for at least in terms of cloud and i'm sure other characters as far as what build you want to go for so barrett obviously being the ranged attacker you know cloud being up close to the sword and everything like that and the fact you can see the material in the sword is freaking awesome love it love it um so yeah i definitely would have to say i recommend this you know especially if you're a final fantasy 7 hardcore fan or if you're just a fan of the final fantasy series i definitely recommend getting this and this will not disappoint you try out the demo if you haven't already on ps4 um it'll definitely give you a good idea of how it is now i can understand that some people might not want to get this because of the gameplay possibly you know it might not be their type of gameplay they want to get into and that's fine you know that's totally fine uh, I don't see this getting bad reviews when it comes out. I think it's going to get solid reviews. I know this is part one, so this this does kind of sting a little bit as part one. But at the same time, it's actually good. I feel like, you know, expand upon the story, expand upon the lore, because why make a remake that's exactly like the original? No, don't do that. Add some new stuff to it, you know. Heck, maybe Aerith won't die this time. Who knows? <laughs> uh, that's wishful thinking, but hey. Just, just to kind of put a twist on things, you know. But yeah, they're already, you know, having Sephiroth show up a little bit early. Since obviously a lot of people already know about Sephiroth, so therefore why keep him a mystery? We already know. Most people that know the lore, know Final Fantasy VII, know Sephiroth is a big baddie. He's the main big baddie at the end, so why not tease him in here? Uh, hopefully we maybe get like a teaser fight in here, even though I'm, I'll probably be mad like, no, oh, we only need to find him a little bit. I want to play it and I want to find him some more. So, but I can see them doing that. I can see them possibly giving us a little teaser fight uh, in here. I think in the original, there was like a flashback scene, but that was after you left Midgard. That happens like at a lodge, something like that, where Cloud was uh, reminiscing about his time with Sephiroth and whatnot. I think you did fight him, but see, I don't know if that's going to happen in this game, though, because this is all taking place in Midgard. It's not going to take place outside of it, so I don't know. We may or may not get, like, a tease battle with Sephiroth in this game. Who knows? But, yeah, I'm loving it. Looking forward to it. Um, definitely am going to explore this thing, take my time with it, and try to find all the secrets, all the mysteries. You know, hopefully there's, like, secret weapons, secret summons. I don't know. As of right now, we only know there's like six summons in the game. Three are part of a pre-order. If you get the first class edition, get all three, I think, and maybe the deluxe. Uh, if you're wondering what those three are, it's the Chocobo, the Carbuncle, and Cactar. So, the stand, I think every standard edition comes with the Chocobo. Uh, or all editions, I mean, not the standard, all editions. But, um, and then we get, what, Ifrit? Shiva and Leviathan, so it's about a total of six, so who knows? They might have thrown some extras in there. We get summons early, though, so that's interesting to note and exciting right there. So, yeah, gameplay, visuals, story, the voice acting, all fantastic. I can keep going on and on, but I want to keep boring you guys. Hopefully, you know, you enjoy this. Give me your thoughts in the comments below. Love to hear from you, those of you that played the demo, those of you that are looking forward to it. You know, what, you, what most excites you about this? What are you looking forward to? doing in this game the most uh please please let me know in the comments below love to hear from you and please you know subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of my videos and as i mentioned before if you want to combine check me out on twitch please do follow me there we have a fun time we keep it hype positive silly all that good stuff thanks for watching as always heroes my name is mike and i'll see you next time